brought to you by Franklin County Redneck Committee on YouTube and Hanson Mobile Advertising on Facebook. Talking, okay, this is the stuff that I've somewhat pulled out already. Now you can tell anyone that knows what metal does and when it rusts. And you can look through here, it's the, the gray that's from rust as well. And I got glass and on plastic and who knows what else. And this is zone six in West Frankfurt, Illinois. And I'm cleaning the process and you can tell, look at this here, a big old clump right here. That's from a coffee can. I'm emptying all the coffee cans. I found roly polies inside of the thing when I'm taking them out. Wait, it's, but what is today's day? Is it set the 21st, September the 21st? Yeah, September the 21st. 2019. 2019. And this stuff is really hard. And that's what I'm referring to. And okay, you look and you see how what uh, some of these coffee cans are. And wait a minute, let me take some shots of the coffee cans. And our trusty wa uh, bo a watchdog. Okay. And. And we're going to use this as well. What I'm doing is I'm taking all the material because some plants need a real good uh, moisture thing. This has got a little bit of everything into it. Into it. These are the containers I'm using. But you see, that's what clean dirt looks like when it's all that dirt, rock, and garbage is out of it. And for what you see out here, this is the amount of rocks I found in it, from small to large, as well. And you see right here, okay, it's, it's real small. Never would have seen, I would never would have seen it when I'm putting it in, in the dirt. I mean, putting it in containers, but yeah keep that separate and all that and it's got the seeds drying out here okay lift that up and let's see what you got underneath like that cage huh. you see all them roly polies that's from one coffee can see what I mean Roger look at that that guy sitting there saying that do you see how many roly polies are po popping up and out? Oh, yeah. Okay, now, what was he using to keep all these things from climbing in the coffee cans? As he, you know, was talking about what climate or did he have roly polies or what? We would like to know because what area he's from. But <laughs> you see the amount of roly polies uh, and a few <clears throat> other types of insects were in there. Well, you got to remember, most people that are on YouTube, a lot of them are from freaking like Malibu, California, or they're from Florida, yeah, or Hawaii. They they've got like tropical weather where they can grow anything. Yeah, or in the Midwest. Well, look at that cigarette butt. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You never know what you come across. And out here, we're going to be doing that as well too. Checking through the soil and but yeah. And this of work like concrete almost. Did you ever get that one big chunk? Yeah, that thing was like like a work by itself. And that's what I was saying too, like 
if after we get really good with the dirt, we can be able to sit through it and find the different textures of dirt. Like yeah. some plants need, you know, uh, you know, the hard dirt like that, and then some of it needs the soft, moist yeah. dirt. Get yeah. more precise with it. Yeah. And what I'm going to do too is use our food plant, uh, mix it in with some of the material from our harvest. And this is the compost. I haven't even done this on the gardening videos yet. And it's, and on some of it, we took the skins and all that, put it in the containers and all that to build up the the, the material for other plants to like plant food. And you see how color of that. To that. Can I take a picture of it? Um, yeah. Right. Yeah. Cool. Right here. You would think that this was a chunk of dirt, but it's not. If if you can't go like this or like this, then it's not dirt. <laughs> Even as hard as it is. But you want to make sure too, whatever stuff you put in with it, it holds some kind of moisture to help the soil not be so rock hard and it's not so hard on the roots as well. Okay, this is Robert Hansen. Is that all you gotta say? Okay. Uh -huh. Is it? Um, Oh, and one thing, um, when you do do, do this, you want to make sure you got a bucket and you do a three thing. Rocks, dirt, and garbage nearby. But you see how many are right there and how many are cleaned. Okay. So you also did those too. Yeah. Yeah. But out of them, I found a bunch of roly polies. And other things up in in there too. I had to take a hammer to them to it to break up the soil to where it would fall out. Damn. I'll okay. give you an demonstration. Okay, you see, look at that. Okay. Nothing. Okay. You see in here? I'm kind of tilted because this doesn't get very good lighting. Yeah, it's not good. Okay. Well, okay, but you see in here. Okay. Like this right here. Here. And you can see the rest spots. The gray is rest. Okay. <coughs> Small rocks. Look at that. That's what I'm saying too. If you can break like that, and this is uh, wood compost as well. You can put some of it in and it will help with it too. That's why we did that. Because wood compost on certain plants and certain trees and vines, you do it, but some you don't. You have to check for what plants will accept it and what won't accept it. But you look and, and it was like that <laughs> ricocheted. But you see how even on rock, rust will show up on here. And that's one thing you do want to see too. Well, there's a sum right there too, I think. Mm -hmm. like, yep, that's rust. And look at this. White. I don't know what that is, but it, hmm. it could be a rock. Yeah. Limestone or something. If you know what that is, make a comment. Yep. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so let me go ahead and okay. end it right here. 
No way. That's a good one. Yeah, that. Kind of move that around to where we can get some sunlight.